The premiere in the most anticipated cosplay and hobby convention in the Visayas is back once again. And if in case you missed it, don't worry, we got you covered. Welcome to Attack of Us 2023. It's Jay here. Welcome back to another video. Gary and Yekats are present to cover this year's Otaku Fest held at SMC Side City Cebu on the weekend of June 24 to 25. The venue brought homage to the type of the event that Otaku Fest is originally known for. Outdoors. This year's team is ready, set, go, featuring an active sports fest-like environment. So Gary, how's the event arranged like? For this year, the venue is divided into three locations, the Sky Hall, Sky Garden, and Sky Park. At the Sky Hall, you'll get to buy a wide variety of hobby-related products and pop culture products like the merchandise booth, artist alley, cosplayer booth, and so much more. We also got to interview local, national, and international guest cosplayers like Deyensa Bandeja, Lia Bear, Ashen K from Canada, and Bioru from Vietnam. Our friends from Cebu really talk to a lot of cosplayers, congoers, and even the organizer. We have a lot of videos to share this month. So if you are not yet subscribed to Keepsakes, now is the best time to hit that button. Don't forget to ring the bell to get notified too. Now let's get to the next spot. The Sky Garden is where you will find the action. From gaming to card tournaments like Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG Tournament on Day 2. Organized by Hyrule Neko Hobby Shop from Dumaguete. And I got to compete and became one of the top 8 finalists. And finally, Sky Park showcased live dance performances and cosplay competitions. Speaking of cosplay competitions, the 2023 Philippine Preliminary for GCOF, or the Gyeongji International Cosplay Festival was also held at Otaku Fest. Winners receive cash prizes and are hailed as the GCOF Philippines 2023 champion and the official representative of the country to the GCOF World Championship to be held this September in South Korea. After four years of not competing in cosplay competition, Cebu's Pride Team Class S has finally come back and won the championship opening a new chapter for their team as they journey as world-class champions, but this time as husband and wife. Actually, the decision of us competing in GCOF is not easy uh -huh. because as you know, we have already announced our retirement as uh -huh. Team Class S way back in 2020. I guess it's 2020. Uh, but we decided to go for GCOF because there's still a hole in our heart that we were not able to get that world champion title. This is actually a very good uh, chance for us to redeem ourselves mm -hmm. and to uh, give our best to really uh, get that world champion. And this time for Cebu. Overall, our experience for this year's Otaku Fest was amazing. The venue was huge and gave a lot of space for con goers to move around. With the Taco Fest coming back home to their home venue of 2019 to accommodate a bigger number of con goers and hobbyists, it simply shows that the hobby events in the Visayas is improving and taking it to the next level. Cheers to more breathtaking venues! From Cebu with Lloyd Gabito, Yakats of C3, and Cebu Cosplay with Buzz Gary Montejo for Keepsakes. For more videos on pop culture in the Philippines, subscribe to this channel and follow us on social media. Once again, thank you very much Gary and the rest of Keepsake Cebu for covering Otaku Fest 2023. Until the next video everyone!